In today's Minecraft build battle, I'm competing against Quandale. We're having a build battle. It's gonna be tough knowing that Quandale is really experienced and has all kinds of gadgets to help him win. Huh, experienced? I guess you can call it that. Ah, uh, goats, I'm so broke. I lost all my diamonds. A creeper snuck up on me, exploded, and my whole inventory was lost. But now I've got to find a new way to make some cash. I'm hoping Quandale can help out. Yo, Quandale, dude. Dingleberry. Sonny, what do you want this time? Whoa, why do you gotta sound so miserable about it? I thought I'd just pay my best pal Quandale a visit. We both know that's not true. Melon is your best friend. Yeah, and guess what? Melon's not here right now. He went on a romantic vacation with Melanie, and now I'm all alone by myself with just you in the town. So, you wanna help me make some money? No, I'm done with your stupid money-making ideas. It's Quandale help me with this, Quandale Quandel, help me with that. Can you please just stop wasting my time? I do not agree with that, Quandale. I'd never waste your time. I test out all your inventions for you. How about I make a brand new invention that makes you leave my lab? Whoa, Quandale, relax. I would never ask for something like that. Instead, why don't you make a device that makes me invisible or maybe allows me to morph into mm. anything or a diamond printer so I could just sit there all day and press a button like beep, 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 and it spits out diamonds. You know what? Fine. I'll make you that diamond printer if you can beat me in a build battle. Ho <laughs> ho, you're on, Quandale. If I win, you have to make me that diamond printer. And if not, you have to leave me alone for an entire month. How does that sound? You've got yourself a deal, Quandale. Dale, I'm gonna destroy you. I'm the greatest builder in this village. Nuh uh. Even Melon is a better builder than you. Between you and me, this won't even be a competition. I'll be waiting for you in the arena. Okay, Quandale. I'll see you there. <laughs> first, I just gotta take this from his chest. Okay, Quandale. What's the first challenge? Let's see who can build the best house. We each have 10 minutes. Good luck. <laughs> 10 minutes is plenty of time. Activate my creative mode! Just in time. Alrighty, so I have 10 minutes to totally build a legit house without using any cheats. Activating my builder block. And let's look for the sunny house. Please tell me it's in here. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. Sunny house. Enter. Perfect! It actually worked! Ah, a thing of true beauty and magnificence. Look at this. It's a modern marvel. I got bar stools made out of pistons. I've got a grand dining hall. Oh, this place is amazing. Check out my kitchen. I even have an aquarium. That's how you know this is very bougie and rich. Let's Let's see the upstairs. I bet you I got the best bedroom. Holy smokes, I got a fireplace. And here it is, the master suite, so I can look down on my peasant's dining. Yes, how's your meal? Oh yeah? How about I put a little bit of... <laughs> Take that. 11 minutes later. All right, Quandale, let's see what you've created. This ain't too bad. I should have known Quandale would be a fierce competitor. He's got all kinds of crazy gadgets to help him build. Look at this place. He's got a castle combined with a modern fortress with this insane water irrigation system for his roses. And he has a swimming pool out back. No way. I've got to compete with this. I need to make a swimming pool of my own. Sonny, that wasn't a swimming pool. That was merely a decorative fountain in my house. What? That looked like a swimming pool. That thing was huge. You're telling me that was just for show? Well, yes, Sonny. This is only the first round. For the next one, let's see who can create the best pool. Quandale, you're on. I gotta make a swimming pool quick. But really, the builder block needs to make a swimming pool quickly. Ah, uh, yeah. No way. This is even more magnificent than I expected. It has a romantic gazebo in the center. Oh, Sunshine would love to visit this place. Or Melon and I could pretend to be old men. I'll sit in this chair here and fish off of this side. Heck yeah, brother. And he could be over here in this chair fishing too. And we could show off our pet puffer fish, Larry. I wonder what Quandale's built. What? His swimming pool looks awesome. It's like a community pool from back being a kid where you could swim in it, and then maybe if you had to, you could pee in it. Aw, yeah. The good old days. And your parents would be over here lounging like, Hey, Sonny, stop peeing in the pool. Be like, yeah, but I can't help it. You gotta go if you gotta go. You know? Or is that just me? 
Well, anyways, Quandale did a pretty good job with his swimming pool. That's what I was trying to say. Quandale, good work with your house and swimming pool, but it's still no match for my builds. Yeah, Sonny, you sure about that? Goats, Sonny doesn't know that I'm onto his little charade. Of course, I know he's been using my block builder to cheat, so now it's time to make him pay. So, Quandale, are you ready to review my build and admit defeat? Yeah, let's check it out. Let's go. Wait a second. Why am I in survival mode all of a sudden? Ha <laughs> ha. Quandale, why are you laughing? And Quandale... Quandale, what are you holding? I know you were cheating, Sonny. Nice builder block. Give me that. Ah, how'd you take that from me? I think you should be more concerned about your house. Quandale, please, you don't have to do this. I'm sorry I cheated. No, Sonny, you're not sorry yet, but you will be. Quandale, Quandale, why? Quandale, no! Quandale, what is your problem? You, Sonny, you are my problem. Now my entire build is destroyed. Well, I guess that means I win, and you have to leave me alone for a month. Dang it, Quandale! You're actually an evil genius for that, but I respect the hustle. Well played. But I won't forget what you did today. In one month's time, I'll get my revenge. But for now, you should totally press the like button and subscribe for more videos. Today in Minecraft, Melon and I are having a build battle! Both of us have to create the most awesome secure statue house ever! We build traps, puzzles, and obbies inside of our statue bodies, and even a custom some secret base inside of our heads. Whose statue do you think looks better, mine or Sonny's? And subscribe if you want your own secret base in Minecraft. It looks like Creative Mode Inc. already hooked us up. Oh my goodness. Wait, Sonny, I didn't get my Creative Mode. Ha <laughs> ha! No, no, no! Wait, it came just in the nick of time. Let's go! Dang it, I wanted to see you get flopped over like a pancake. Anyways, Melon, I'm dropping on down to tell you the rules of this build battle. Yeah, what's that? We're gonna play five rounds, and whoever wins the most gets... Wait, what does the winner get again? They get all of the other person's diamonds, Sonny. I'm not giving my diamonds up, bro. I'm gonna crush you in this. Oh, yeah? Well, without further ado, let's do this, Sonny. What's round one? We need to build giant replica statues of ourselves. Oh, let's do this. Sonny, I have a very big self-image of myself, so this should be easy. Yeah, I get it. You have a big ego and a juicy melon. Anyways, Sonny, I'll see you in five. Okay, goats. I've got to build a statue of myself, and I need to do it as perfectly as possible because I'm perfect. And the hardest part of this build is going to be getting my face down. Although, each of my pixels is pretty easy. I've got my sunglasses and my mouth. That's about it. Well, I guess it's time for me to start building. Let's construct the framework. My legs. Okay, goats, I have a genius idea for this round. All I've got to do is gather the legendary melon and assemble my body parts. Oh, that was an accident. First things first, I'm gonna need to use some red concrete to build up this. Then I'll need some white concrete. Then I'll need to assemble my diaper. I mean my, my underwear, my underwear. The rest of my body, two little arms, then finally, I'll need to find the legendary watermelon. Guys, I can't simply acquire this from creative mode. I've gotta go out and find it. Oh no, I'm in a super flat world. Where am I gonna find a legendary melon? I know, I've just gotta make it to the end. With this, bada bing, can make myself an end portal. And now, I've entered the end, guys. Oh, where is the legendary watermelon? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Dang it, guys. I think I need to slay the dragon if I want to find it. And my legs are completed. And I even started to work on my pants. Let me put this little buckle piece in. Wait a second. I don't even have a buckle. But I guess I do have a different shade right in the crotch. <laughs> All right, let's keep building. Gots to make my pants beautiful. In order to do that, I need my most powerful stick. Die! I did it, guys. I slayed the dragon. All right, my pants are pretty much done, but I don't really like this gray. I want to change it. It's not quite accurate. Uh, I still don't see it. There it is. There it is. Legendary watermelon. I just need some silk touch. Give me some shears. And my pants are done. Next up, my body and arms. And I'm gonna need to expand the edging for my arms. Let's go like this. That's probably far enough. Maybe 
maybe one more block to be safe and then wrap it around town there we go guys i've got the legendary silk touch shears just gotta mine this up oh no i gotta go after it ah where am i whoa guys check it out i'm back in the arena and i've got the legendary wander all I've got to do is place this and say the magical words. Alakazama, Alakazoo, make my small watermelon much bigger. So while I was building my chest and arms, I decided to also put my head in. Now all the core building is complete. Up next, I get to do the fun bit. I got to put in my sunglasses and my little face. Which means I need some new colorful blocks. Pink, purple, magenta, that's good. I need white and gray for my mouth. That'll work. And then red, orange, and green. Red, orange, green. Perfect. Now let's build. Whoa, guys, check it out. I just made the most epic statue of myself. There's no way Sonny can compete with that. My mouth should be right around here. And that should do it. Looks pretty good. Hold on, one minor change. Perfect. Next up, the good old sunglasses. And these boys gotta be big. And just a couple more blocks to go, and my glasses are finished! Check it out! My giant statue looks amazing! Alright, Sonny, it's time! Check out my melon build! Whoa! That's actually really good! Heck yeah, isn't it, Sonny? What's up with his head, bro? Is that made of glass? Bro, it's just so you could take a peek into my melon brain. Don't you even worry. <laughs> Just as expected. There's nothing in there. It's empty. Dude, no, 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 wait. It's, uh, um, uh, Dang it, Sonny! Well, let's see what's inside of your head, then. Well, well, nothing, bro. It's a build. But I didn't try and show it off like that. But look at my beautiful statue. I look handsome. I actually think the proportions are slightly off. I think your chin's too big here. Hold on. I gotta remove, like, two blocks. No, no, Melon. I have a thick jawline. I'm a Chad. Dude, I don't understand. Why is your chin so sharp? Because I'm built like an ox. I'm strong. Well, we all know that's just plain old and Accurate. I think I take round one. Wait, what? No, wait, hold on. Guys, comment down below. Who do you think wins the first round? Me with my awesome Sunny statue or Melon with his empty brain? Round two, Sunny, is parkour. You better make the most awesome parkour inside of your base ever. Let's go. And then you're gonna try and complete it. You're gonna die and splatter like a pancake over and over again. And I'm gonna be officially goaded. No, that's not gonna happen, Sunny. Don't you worry. Okay, goats, I'm gonna make the parkour inside of my legumes. So we should probably make a door. That should do the trick for now. And now it's time to begin constructing the parkour. So we're gonna use some nether bricks here. Start here to begin with. Then build it up a little more. That should do the trick. We're just gonna need a lot more jumps though. Alrighty, goats, for my parkour, I'm gonna place it inside of my giant sunny legs. I already broke out a little bit here for the staircase and once inside melon's gonna have to complete a series of jumps the likes of which he's never seen i'm gonna start with a layered dolomite because it sounded cool then i'm gonna place some gold sheet slabs kind of like this let's go like that and then like that and then put this on top yeah check out these jumps boom and i want to put a lot more of them another one there another one there like that Oh, this is coming together nicely. All right, I've constructed the jumps, and now it's time for some interesting parkour. Just gotta place these fans correctly. There we go. You might be wondering, what are these fans for? Well, when I attach a creative motor, these fans start propelling infinitely upwards, which means when Sonny's doing this parkour, he'll have to use these fans to then jump up to this block right in the corner. And now uh, let's crank these creative motors up a little bit. Yeah, 32 should do the trick. No, let's just turn them on max. Okay, that's a little too much. That's a little too much. Maybe like 96. Okay, slightly more. And that's perfect. 
That's a pretty cool piece of parkour. From here, then, we'll continue the parkour normally. I got a little carried away with my parkour. The only thing left to do now is add some ladders. Yes, let's make this super duper irritating for Melon. He's got to make it all the way there, huh? So let's go like this, and then like this, and then like that. I think he can make that jump. Oh, yeah, that's easy. That's actually too easy. So let's lower these down, and... Yeah, there we go. Then he's got to make this jump. And he's going to have to do this ladder parkour all around the column. His favorite. And once he gets up here, check it out. I am going to make a slime jump with this button. He must activate it and launch. Yep, that was epic. And now I've just got to finish installing a couple more ladders. Let's go like this. No, 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 no. Like this. Yeah, keep it low. How low can you go? And then he's going to have to go around the corner up top and yeah this is as far as i got <laughs> i gotta do a few more parkour builds just constructing the last bit of ladder parkour and once sunny does this he'll arrive at the next fan section now you might be wondering what are these lavas here for well once i activate these fans it will all make sense now check this out sunny will have to do this fan parkour but avoid these lava blocks or else he'll burn to a crisp once he does this parkour, he'll have to land on this block and finish the rest. And I'm almost finished. Check it out. I gotta add a couple more honey blocks, and then my course is ready. Melon will have to scale the sides of these sticky blocks to get across, complete a few more jumps, and he'll think he's complete. But then he must use this slime block to get through the hole in the ceiling. Boom! And once he's up here, he can claim his prize. A whole bunch of emeralds. And actually, I think I'm going to cover it like that and put a bunch of fake water in here. Yes. Check it out. The water won't leak because I have a ghost block. But once he goes up in here, if he touches the sides, it's going to kill him. And well, there's actually nowhere else for him to go. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Here we go. And then Sonny will have to make the final jump. He'll have to get from this block to this block. You might be wondering, how is he going to do that? Well, very simple. I'll make a little contraption to make it possible because I'm a fair sport just like this so then when he presses this button it should give him enough bounce to make the jump perfectly just as I did and then if he makes it all the way up he's completed my parkour melon I'm busted through this wall your build better be ready I'm ready, Sonny. And if you want to take on my parkour, well, you're going to have to wait. Oh, why is that? Because, Sonny, I'm doing yours first. What the heck, Melon? <laughs> it's time. Let me destroy your parkour before you can mess with me. <laughs> Sonny, I'm killing it. Wait, are you in survival mode? Yes, I'm in survival mode, Sonny. All right, just making sure. And goats, it's a good thing he didn't look at the bucket in my hands. Oh, dang it. Why did you put ladders? Because I know they're your worst nightmare. I got this. I got this. It's easy, Melon. Just make the jumps. Focus up. I'm trying right now, Sonny, but this, this is disgusting. Why would you do this? I actually think it's quite beautiful. Wait, where do I go from here? I have to make that jump? Oh. Are you dumb? Yeah, okay. I see it now. I see it. Ooh. And then... Yeah. No! Okay, I feel bad. I'm just gonna teleport you. All right, one more try. One more try. Bro, it's not hard. <laughs> Melon, please. It's a bit harder than it looks, Sonny. Please, you literally go like this. First try. Oh, so I do it like this. Yeah, that's not how you do it. Bro, you are trash at parkour. Bro, come on. I know I'm capable of this. Ah, there we go, Sonny. Nice one. <laughs> I got good news and bad news. Um, can you hear me with the good news first? First, the good news is you're making progress. The bad news is there's another slime jump coming up. Oh, no. Why, Sonny? Also, how do you like my ladders? It's very annoying. Why did you make this a thing? Because they're fun. Well, now, well, before I even make that slime jump, I'm going to have to do some crazy momentum. Whoa, I did it. Nice work, bro. It was actually easy, though. And then... Yes! 
That was close, bro. You were like two pixels away from falling. Oh my goodness, Sonny. I've done it. Now I've just got to do some honey parkour. This is my specialty. Yeah, watch you slip and fall. Need some momentum. Hey, let's go. Nice work. I'll give you credit where it's due. Now I'm going crazy. <laughs> and all I've got to do is one simple jump and make it to my victory room. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I just... Ow! Why? Why is it fake water? What is this? Bro, you don't want your emeralds? No, no, let me out, Sonny! That was so satisfying. Well, Melon, it's time to check out your parkour. All right, well, good luck doing it, Sonny. Whoa, what are these? You've got fans? Yep, and by the way, Sonny, whoever does the parkour fastest wins this round. I did that in five minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, well, watch this. I'll do it in five seconds, one. No, 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 you have to be in survival. I win. Oh, wait. I just put myself in survival. <laughs> That's embarrassing. All right, Melon. I'm coming back down. Ow! What the heck? <laughs> Get wrecked. Well, here I am at your parkour. Let's see how quickly I can run this. Start my timer now. All right, one, two, three, four. Bro, shush. You're distracting me. I'm trying to go into goat mode. That was pretty cool. I'll give you credit. Yeah, I'm pretty creative with my designs. Yeah, but you added ladders. And these are my specialty. Oh, are they, Sonny? Look at me flawlessly. Wait, why is there a ladder here? Whatever. You got, got it, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted a whole two seconds. Well played. And then I jump here and here and here. Oh, I'm the go. Oh, no, there's lava. Ow. Die. Die, Sonny. Why would you do this? So you burn to death. Ow. Well, luckily I survived. Dang it, bro. You were supposed to die there. Yeah, but now I'm wasting time because I'm on fire. Phew. There we go. And is this it? Uh, Sonny, don't make that jump. Don't make that jump. No, you actually did it. Dang it. Let's go. Bro, I completed your parkour in like two minutes. Well, as a reward, Sonny, you're now in my diaper. Uh, oh, gross. Well, Sonny, you won this round. Uh, I might have won the first round. I don't know. It's up to the goats to decide. So it's one to one or two to nothing right now. I'm pretty sure it's two to nothing because I'm the goat. No. Anyways, regardless, I'm winning this third round. This time, Sonny, we're constructing a maze. And bro, when you see mine, you're gonna be amazed. Great one. Good one, Sonny. All right, goats, it's time to construct my maze. Give me some red concrete. Okay, let's go back up top. And I've got to remove my trap because I don't actually want him to die. And so Sonny finishes the parkour right about here. This is where we'll start the maze. Yep, yeah, start building it out. I should make them three high so he can't look over. Let's make it out of regular water. Water. Remove the nasty poisonous fake water and pour in a bucket of regular. And then I'm going to have him exit this way. Perfect. And now it's time to construct the maze. I must leave him bewildered and confused. Yes, this is excellent. Most excellent. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's the best part about building mazes is you can get lost in your own work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. I'm about halfway done the maze. Uh, shouldn't be long till I'm fully done. And just gotta set this up. And then I'm completely done my maze. Isn't it awesome, Sauce? And once he makes it to the end, all he's gotta do is go up here and he'll enter the next room. Sonny, I'm finished. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll be finished too then. Fine, I'm done. Well, before we even speed run each other's mazes, uh, I think we should construct the fourth round. Yeah? What's the fourth round? gonna be? I say we construct our special rooms to end the maze. That's actually a good idea, because right now my maze leads to nothing, so it's kind of lame. My maze leads to, like, nothing as well. Kind of, you're just in my torso. Yeah, this is a good idea. We gotta have a reward room. Well, Sonny, let's do this thing! Okay, goats, this is my secret puzzle room. Right after the maze, Melon has to solve
solve this puzzle. And you'll figure out what it is as well with him. It's a secret for now. Then, once he exits there, he'll enter this facility where I will spawn in sunny monsters and my minions will kill the Wandermelon. And if they don't, Melon will defeat them, collect an elevator block and place it right here to continue exploring my build challenges. All right, goats, I've got an idea for my special room. First things first, we've got to get a chest. In this chest will be a bow with a bunch of arrows. Now, Sunny will have to use this bow to shoot the dispensers I'm about to construct. Bada bing, bada boom. And then just like that, my final dispenser is constructed. Check it out. Each one of these dispensers will contain a ladder. He'll have to shoot these buttons to get enough ladders to build up and then enter my next room. Now, boys, I've already constructed the next room. Check this out. He'll have to continue to use his bow and arrow to shoot these targets. These targets will push these pistons. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, there's nothing there for them to push. But that's exactly why I'll be placing netherite armor right here, 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 and here for Sunny. Now, if he dares shoot this target first, he'll spawn in my ultimate mob! The mutant skeleton. <laughs> so he's definitely gonna need that armor if he wants to kill this thing. And actually, every time he shoots that target, it spawns in a random mutant. So he could get any single one of these mutants. Bro, you better hope he doesn't get the Enderman or the Skeleton, or it's over! He probably wants this Snow Golem. I don't know. They're starting to fight. No, this was a mistake! This was a mistake! Okay, okay, they're all gone. Melon, hurry up and come test out my builds. All right, Sonny, it's time for you to get wrecked, bro. But you could just shortcut the obby, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna do your obby again, Sonny, with all due respect. Whoa, 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 get down. Don't, don't, be, don't be flying above the maze. All right, fine, I won't be flying above the maze. But I will cheat <laughs> in other methods. <laughs> Whatever. I already know you're using third person to spy. Okay, dang it, I won't use it. I don't even care, bro. The maze is like whatever. But what happens after the maze <gasps> is gonna be awesome. Well, Sonny, first I've got to get out of this stinking place. What if I never made an exit? No, you definitely made an exit. I've just gotta... Oh, Sonny, that was the easiest maze ever. Yeah, what if I remove this? Come on, bro, I won! All right, I'll put it back. Elevator block. There you go. Whoa, what the heck? is this place, Sonny? Now this is the real test. Can you solve the challenge? Clearly I need to move these blocks so I can walk up these stairs. I'll just press this lever. <laughs> nice try. Dang it, what do I need? What do I need? Okay, so there's coal, iron, diamonds, and stone. What could that mean? How are they related? Good luck, Melon! By the way, this room will self-destruct in four minutes. What the heck? I only have four minutes to figure this thing out? Yeah, bro, it's level four. So, oh, obviously what I need to do is first, I need to work my way up so then I can mine the diamonds. Maybe, but what if it's all kind of a troll and you just need to put two pieces of wood in here? Uh, there's no way that's the troll, bro. You aren't that smart. <laughs> all right, well, let me check, actually. Bada bing, bada boom. Dang it, bro. Didn't work. You got pranked and you wasted some valuable time because actually you needed two saplings. No, oh, that's cap, bro. That's cap. I ain't falling for it again. Right now, what I need to do is work on crafting this pickaxe. Three minutes left, Melon. I need three stone. Three stone, please. Then I can make myself a cobble pickaxe. And then from here, I can mine more iron. Thing is, I also need more stone for a furnace. Tick tock. Time's a wasting. Dude, let me mine. Why are you mining so much iron? I don't know. I wasn't thinking straight. I have enough. I have enough cobble. Make myself that that furnace place that down get myself some coal and actually i don't even need the coal uh but it's too late i got it well that's smelting what else could i do i could try some random blocks yeah that's a great idea dang it bro it's not working dude you stole my iron hey melon you want it back there's only two minutes left i'll remember that you scumbag stop <laughs> you're so annoying, Sonny. You're actually a cheat. Nah, bro. You got lots of time. You're gonna be fine. Uh, maybe it's iron that I need, actually. Bada bing, bada boom. Dang it. Time's ticking. 60 seconds left. Oh, no. I've gotta hurry up. I've gotta hurry up, please. And goats, while Melon's working on his diamonds, I'm gonna go upstairs and summon my minions. I've crafted myself an iron pickaxe. 
Now, I'm just gonna do my parkour, and all I need is one diamond. Give me the diamond! Yes, yes. With this, I should be able to unlock the stairs. Please, please. Yo, it actually worked! Well done, Melon. You solved the mysteries. But now, can you figure out this area? Um... Ah, what is that? Why are there a bunch of face suckers? <laughs> These are my sunny minions. Bro, what is this? What is this, Sunny? How am I supposed to get out of here? Maybe you have to defeat them. All of... Oh, wait, that's it? Okay, let me just kill them all. Die, die. I know what to do. Yeah, what's that, huh? And now I kill them slowly. Wait, what? Bro, you actually outbrained me. I didn't even think that was possible. And you need to die, you minions. Nah, bro, they got lots of health. How much health do they have, bro? Dude, you're hitting them with a pickaxe. You don't even have a real weapon. I don't need a real weapon for these minions. Dang it my poor boys i didn't think they would get destroyed like this and one of them he dropped a yellow elevator and now i ascend well done melon you conquered my maze and solved my challenges welcome to my dome ski dude your face looks even more stupid from in here bro don't judge me that's how my eyes look why do you think i wear these glasses oh yeah to cover up your stupid ugly face all right sonny get up over here Let's do this, bro. If you defeated my challenges, it's time for me to speed run yours. Yeah, good luck with that, Sonny. You're never finding your way out of this maze. You sure about that? You sure about that? I feel like I'm on. I'm not onto it. Uh, wait, you just built something. What the heck, bro? Uh, and yep, you're losing time, Sonny. You better figure out another way out. You definitely just cheesed it. I heard you break blocks. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. No, Melon! Open that. You're literally just trapping me. Hold on. F5. Let's see where I go. Oh, let me guess. I had it correct. Let's go. Fine. You can go, Sonny. Let's go. I already got the treasure. It's a bow and arrows. And then I'm going to turn you into a porcupine. Bro, I'm literally in creative mode. That's not how this works. Whoa. It's a target practice range. There's so many wooden buttons. What is this? A ladder. Bro, are these all going to spit out ladders? Wait, can I get more than one? Ah, oh, one at a time only. Interesting, Melon. How many? many ladders do I need? Oh, speed run, speed run, speed run. Well, that wasn't so hard. And I'm all the way up. Now, what is this? Another shooting range. Target acquired. Oh, Sonny, you just messed up big time. What do you mean? Turn around, Sonny. Ew! Muted shulker! Gross! Go away! You probably should have shot the other ones first. Wait, they've got netherite armor. Give me these. I need pants. I need pants. No. Oh, wait. I can just float. Maybe I don't need to shoot the targets. Wait, no. That's not how they're supposed to work. That's not how they're supposed to work. You got so lucky with the random mutant. Oh, no. Lucky? I'm about to die. Oh, no. One heart. One heart. I'm toast. Melon, I don't even have a sword. How am I supposed to kill this thing? With a bow and arrow. Great. I'm dead. I'm alive. Give me these pieces of armor. Let's go. I just need the boots now. Thanks for the boost. Give me these boots. Give me these boots. Yes. I've got armor now, but this guy's just making me float. Ow. Come on. Die. Die. Oh, I can shoot his particles. Get out of here. Oh, he's gonna wreck me, bro. This guy is so strong. But I won't give up. I can do this. Honestly, Sonny, I feel pretty bad. Just take this and uh, kill the mutant shulker. Okay. Die! Nope. Doesn't, doesn't work like that, Sonny. Just kill the shulker. All right. Fine. I think I was gonna be able to do this anyways without your help, bro. I have it. I have it. See, I totally killed him myself. Wow, you're the goat, Sonny. You know what? You needed my help, and you still lost this round. So round three goes to me. How did I lose? I've got the shulker box. Did I really just spawn him back in? Oh, wait, no. It just looks cool. And check it out, Sonny. Your elevator block, it's appeared. No way. I got a mutant shulker box reward and an elevator, which takes me to your big empty brain. Bro, yours was empty too. Yeah, but I didn't build in it. You literally built here and then still left it empty. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. Sonny. This leads us to the final round. We're making an awesome house. Let's go. My face house is gonna destroy you. We'll see about that. All right, goats, check it out. The first thing I did was redesign my floor. 
And also add an awesome window. Check it out. I can look at Sonny's stupid face from here. Now it's time to decorate a little bit. Let's add a bed. Yeah, we're gonna need a melon bed. Red bed, lime bed. Okie dokie. I'm inside of my face, and to begin the construction, I've converted most of it to glass. That way you can see out and enjoy the view. I even made most of my head into one-way glass for the same reason. We want lots of natural lighting coming inside. And now, if I'm gonna win this competition, I need to make my house inside of my head freaking awesome. So over here, I put down the foundation for what would be my living room. This shall become a fireplace. And what do fireplaces need? Fire! And knowledge, yes. My fireplace will have great wisdom about it. Then obviously we need a melon bed frame made out of real authentic melon. That is truly beautiful. We're gonna need a gaming setup as well. Nice birch chair, yes. Mmm, beautiful diorite table. Some cool RGB monitors. And finally, an epic gaming PC. Oh, it's beautiful. Furthermore, in the garden, I wish to place some acacia saplings and grow them into fabulous trees. Yes, just sublime, really. Although they might be a bit large. I might have to break these and replace them a few times. Yes, that is much better now. Now it's time to make the super cozy, awesome melon hideout space. Right up here. This is how we'll escape from the wife, Melanie. And I even added a doorway to lead back into the rest of my house. Also, check it out. Swimming pool! This is amazing. Get some cool ladders. And finally, we'll have our cozy hideout spot. Some campfires and a nice melon-themed sofa room. Now, as you can see, I have upgraded my shelving units and I've even added a framework to the fireplace. Next, I shall put a wall-mounted TV, which is really really hard to place because I can't see anything. But that works wonders. And look at it. My walls, they've come together so nicely. And I added a kitchen. I forgot to mention that. Look at this place. We got fridges. Well, they're not exactly stocked up with food right now, but that's fine. We got the double decker sink. We got lots of storage. I think this place looks nice. The only thing is I got to add a nice couch here. Let's go like this. Boom, bang, bing. Have it wrap around a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. This couch is gonna be cozy. Yeah, I like that. Let's go one more on this side. That looks cool. A nice asymmetrical couch. And then we need a coffee table in the center. Actually, I want the coffee table to be a bit larger. So let's bring this back, shall we? Splendid, truly. And then let's capture our fireplace. Yes, that is a lovely room to just relax and enjoy. And now I've got to decorate the upstairs. Absolutely. Absolutely stunning, if I do say so myself. And now, finally, because my house is so giant, I need a bumper car to get around. It's awesome! I should probably add myself a kitchen real quick, though. <laughs> oh, I gotta hurry up. I'm running out of time. Fridge. We need that double fridge. Some sink. Some nice birch drawer. And a crafting table furnace. It's everything you need in a home. And what better use of space than art? Let's select our favorite. Ooh, that's cool. I I like that. Yo, check out the astronaut. And then, what goes great with art? Trampolines. But of course they do, yes. Now, if I do say so myself, this looks wonderful. Sunny Tom's up! Yo, 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 chill. I'm almost done. And perfect. Ooh, I like the crib. I like what you got going on here, Sonny. Now walk me through it. So upstairs is my bedroom. I got a lot of TVs. I got an epic gaming setup. Look at this. I got the dual monitor, dual PC streaming rig. It's gonna be crazy powerful. Okay, uh, but I just have one problem with up here. Why is there a hole in your window and a hole in your floor? You just did that! And it's fixed! Don't- t t Melon, stop! You know what? I, I don't even care. This this is perfection. This is art. Uh, I don't know. Looks a little bit weird to me, Sonny. I'm gonna have to minus some points for that. Whatever. Just head on downstairs and enjoy the trampoline park. Whoa, this is awesome. 
But more importantly, Sonny, how did you get this picture? I painted it myself, one pixel at a time. I'm very impressed. And also, I have a quick question. Why did you make the roof so low on the trampoline park? Well, I was inspired by my painting to have a low gravity moon shoe type of effect. I wanted to feel like I was in outer space. That's why I put the trampolines, but I didn't have time to modify the ceiling. Dude, I feel like I'm in outer space because I'm hitting my head so much. And I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, you're losing all your brain cells, but you don't need those anyways. Whoa. I gotta give you credit on this room. This is pretty cool. I like the TV, the cozy setup, the wood, the library. Good vibes. Good vibes, Sonny. I know. This is my favorite room in the house. It's cozy. You snuggle up on the couch, and you can go get some food back here. And you even have a back room. It feels like you're outside here. Well, you are, bro. Look at all the natural lighting that this room gets. You can go for a swim and enjoy the heat. This is truly beautiful, Sonny. You did a splendiferous job. So splendiferous that I'm gonna have to light up one lucky dynamite in here. Wait, wait, Ballad, 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 you don't have to do this. It's too late. Why? Oh, Sonny, that's unlucky. Real unlucky. You got a big explosion. Bruh, it looks like a shark took a bite out of my face. Yep. Well, you should have designed your house more explosive proof, I guess. I'll remember this. Whatever. At least everyone got to see my setup. Let's check out yours. Yep, check it out, Sonny. It's all part of the design. You're allowed to break the glass. Oh, am I? Okay. Let me break the glass. Let me break the glass. Um, Sonny, that was your one dynamite. You used it up. Nah, I was just breaking the glass. You said it was allowed. Anyways, take me on a tour of your crib. All right. Well, my crib is too huge, so you're gonna have to use a go-kart to get around. But you only have one. Where's mine? Only comes with one, Sonny. Okay. That's unlucky, I guess. So, it looks like you have one giant room and a whole bunch of air, just like your head. You got a gaming setup in the corner. And, Melon, your monitors are overlapping. This looks a little dangerous. This place this is beautiful. And on top of that, it's very clean. There's not a lot going around. Yeah, you're right. It's empty. Exactly. It's a minimalistic architectural style, Sonny. Anyways, what's up here? This is my man cave, Sonny. It's where I come to enjoy the views chill out and warm my feetsies up. Hold up. You forgot the best part. You could cook up chicken. Yep, you can also do that. Well, I think it's pretty obvious who the winner is considering your whole base has exploded. Hold on, Melon. I want to cook this chicken in style. No, no, no. That's not a lucky dynamite. Yes, it is. It was a lucky chicken dynamite. Well, my house is still more alive than yours, Sonny. So I win. That's Cap. Let's let the view Viewers decide. Goats, comment down below whose build you thought was the best. The Sunny Statue or the Melon House? This is what I think of the Sunny Statue! No, Melon, Melon, stop! In today's video, you're gonna see who can build the strongest, most secure base. That's not even a debate, bro. Of course it's me. Yeah, right, goats. Who's gonna tell him that he's never getting through my sentry turrets? Oh, yeah? Well, you're never gonna get through my lava moat. And if you wanna enter my base, all you have to do is press the like and subscribe button. All right, Sonny, I challenge you to a most secure base build battle. I like it, Melon, and I'm I'm gonna absolutely destroy you! Calm down, Sonny, calm down! I didn't even explain the rules yet! Just die! Go and splat! Are you kidding me? Sonny, enough, 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 bro. The rules are extremely sim- No! Let's go! Got him! Okay, bro. The rules are extremely simple. Just listen to me. I'm the real melon now. No, 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 no. Sonny, just stop. I'm explaining the rules, all right? Okay? So here's how it works. We're gonna take our time, build our bases. We have 24 hours. But at the end of those 24 hours, we each have to infiltrate each other's bases. And whoever takes long- Okay, goats. Melon here. Let me explain- Explain the rules of this build battle. We're gonna each have 24 hours to construct the most secure base, and then we're both gonna infiltrate it. I just said that, Sonny! <laughs> I know, I know. I just thought I would echo your sentiment. Yes. Anyway, so when do we start? Sonny, I didn't even finish the rules. And then we'll both infiltrate, and whoever has the lowest time will lose. Yeah, hold on. Let me get rid of this guy. Yeah, so after we infiltrate each other's bases, whoever has the fastest timer wins. 
No, the fastest timer loses because that means your base sucked. No, no, no. If I escape yours first, I won. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right, actually. That's a good way of putting it. And three, two, one, go! All right, goats. It's time to build my base. Or should I say, grow my base? All I must do to grow it is chant the holy melon song. Okay, goats. So, for my most secure base, I'm gonna theme it around my beautiful face. Ew, wait. Not this one. My beautiful beautiful face. That's better. And that's much better. Goodbye, Melon. Anyways, let's begin. I'm gonna need yellow concrete, yellow wool. Oh, my sunglasses. Yeah, let's go to the concrete palettes. We're gonna need black for the frames. We're gonna need purple and magenta, red, orange, and lime green concrete. Because look at my shades. I've got to build them perfectly. And then I'll figure out my mouth after. Let's see. Something like this. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. We'll just frame this up. Melon, melon, you must grow when I hit you with this magical hoe. Okay, that should be wide enough. I just got to make sure it's 15 blocks tall as well. No way, goats. I think it worked. Check it out. I'm inside my own head. 13, 14, 15. Perfect. Now I just fill in the cube. Just got to bust on out of here. And boom. I have the layout for my most secure base. Now it's time for me to construct some security, but I'm way too lazy to do that myself. So I'm calling in for backup. And voila! With a little magic world edit, it's complete. And that's definitely not cheating. I don't want to hear it. Excellent. Now I must install my sunglasses. I think that's a perfect placement to start. Bring this all the way across the top. It kind of looks like a furrowed eyebrow. What if I just put eyeballs in here like this and looked real kooky? <laughs> I I've gone crazy, and I've got a furrowed unibrow. Nah, I'm not doing that. Instead, I will have the most perfect sunglasses you've ever seen. Check it out. I don't need purple here, though. Let me look at my face. Uh, It's a little bit lower down, and then I put red. Perfect. Then orange, and then green. Yeah, so Bob, pretty much I need you to construct me the most secure base ever. One that'll keep Sunny out forever. Oh, that even rhymed. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. That'll be a thousand diamond blocks. Oh, Bob. Luckily, I've got creative mode, so that's no problem. Diamond blocks. I don't know why we don't do this more often when we have creative mode. We could literally be rich. But here you go, Bob. Take these diamond blocks. Thanks. I'll begin now. And greens like this. And voila. My sunglasses look epic. Wait, is this the right dimensions? Or is this too thick? Oh, well. It'll do. Now for my little mouth. Let's see. I'm going to need lighter pink than this. White and a little gray. So we'll grab this, this, and that a one. And it's kind of like that. Put the gray there. And then I got my big smile there. How's that looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. Perfect. That looks good. I got my grin. That's right. Don't mess with me. All right. I'll admit it. It's a little bit derpy and I need to fix it up. Give me a second. Okay. Much better. I had to just increase the dimensions a little bit to get the perfect size. Plus, that's going to give me a lot more building space on the inside. And it's complete. Hope it does the trick. Thank you, Bob. I really appreciate it. There's no way Sunny can make it through my security. Now, let's see. I want to build a security layer on the exterior to prevent Melon from even accessing my head. I'm going to do a wall. And inside of this wall is going to be some crazy contraptions. Oh, yeah. This is going to be cool. And you know what? I'll do terracotta so it looks a little different. Yeah, that's pretty good. Looks a little more intimidating. And with the power of world... Oh, no. That, that was wrong. Okay. And with the power of world edit, it's been done. The walls have been constructed. Now, let's see. Within the walls, I need to have a grand entrance. So let's poke a little hole in the wall. Now, here's what I want to do. I'm going to make this place super duper confusing. I'm going to construct barriers that he has to get through. And by get through, I mean get over the top of. So let's build it like that. That'll be the first layer. And in order to scale up this wall and make the getaway, he's gonna have to acquire four floating blocks. 
So let's go ahead and set them up like this. Oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. One, two, three, and four. Yep, that's a funky design. Then I'll leave him with a bow and arrow and let him figure it out. Oh yeah, probably need to put blocks in these item frames so he can build over the wall. And he better not miss much. I'm only giving him one extra arrow. He'll take that, destroy the item frames, build up and over like this. And the next area, let's see. How do I wanna make him confused? Block it like this. Oh, I've got a good idea. Check this out. Vanishing blocks. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. And I'll place it like this. I'm going to make a big old cube out of it. He'll have no idea why this is here. Unless he pays attention and looks closely at this button. And if he spots the button and shoots it with his bow, he'll be able to access a sticky piston, one slime, and a spare button. And with that, he'll be able to create a slime jump that can launch him up and over this wall. Yeah, so pretty much I'm just gonna make a few more of these barricades with different secrets that he's got to figure out. Alrighty, I finished some of my designs over here and it's time for the insides. Let's see. This looks like a pretty awesome place to build some parkour. Okay, so he comes inside and then he's gonna have to do like one of these, one of these jumps and then we'll do some floating jumps and I'll make this all look pretty later. Oh, I want to mess around with honey blocks. I absolutely despise these types of jumps. Although Melon's not too bad at them. But yeah, I don't like these. These really annoy me. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I think the last touch is putting some ladders on this wall. <laughs> Otherwise, this is literally impossible. There's no way you can make that jump. So let's go here and then up here, down here, up here. And then he can jump and grab that. Perfect. And if he can complete all of these jumps and access this slime block, he's gonna use it to launch himself up. And in this next area, I think I'm gonna build a maze. But to be honest with you guys, this is gonna be really boring to see me build this. So you'll just have to see what happens when Melon gets to the maze. Okay, I'm at the edge of the maze. And if Melon can make it this far, he'll be able to grab this suit of armor and use the elevator block to teleport himself into this room. And if Melon can defeat these husks, they'll drop pressure plates and buttons that he can use to open this series of doors and complete my most secure base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die horribly. And if not, let me at least put one sentry turret because they're hilarious. You know what? Let's put two of them. Actually, ah, then these husks are gonna get shot. Oh well. Time's up. No more building, Melon. It's time for you to try and conquer my most secure base. Yeah, bro. I totally built so much myself. That's a bit sus because it's obvious that you built, bro. We literally had 24 hours to create the most secure base. I built myself, Sonny. Okay, bro. You're being sus. Anyways, Sonny, uh, it's time to take out your base. Your security looks hecka weak. Yeah, right, bro. Get down there and find out. Ah! <laughs> you couldn't even get through the spawn. Sonny, let me show you how it's done. You got a backwards jump. Creative mode. Hey, too easy. Oh, dude, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Don't move. Don't move. Let me get rid of these. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. Sonny! Actually, I don't even care about that. That's not a real watermelon. Bro, it was literally your head. Anyways, I guess you've lost your mind. So good luck getting through my secure base. It's gonna be easy, Sonny. All I gotta do is this. No, 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 no. You, you, my friend, are going in adventure mode. No! Ow! Now I'm at three hearts. Welcome to my most secure base, Melon. Come on in and see if you can solve all the puzzles. No problem. Let me just first grab a bow and interesting. I feel like I might have to use this. Now, I must warn you, you have exactly five arrows, and you do need all five of them. All right, well, something's sus here, Shunny. Actually, no, it's chill. There's no ghost blocks at all. I thought you were gonna kill me or something like that. No, why would I do that? I'm trying to keep you out of my house. You think I want to be burying your nasty melon body here? Do I do, though? I oh, wait, I see it now. I've just got to shoot these sand things, I guess. Whatever those are. You could do it. Don't miss. Hey, yeah! Hey, I got it! Nice shot, bro. Now you're one step closer to getting over this wall. Boom. Shoot this one. Yes. And actually, I don't even have to waste all four arrows here. Bang. Oh, wait, I do. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Why are you building one by one? Sonny, you don't understand. Now I gotta use an extra arrow. Well played. You literally handed yourself an L. Tony, can I get another arrow? <sighs> I feel bad for you, bro. Here, have a stack of arrows. Get lost. Ow. Oh, there was hay blocks here for me, wasn't there? Yeah, I was trying to look out for your well-being. Anyways, how the heck was I possibly supposed to do this with only five arrows? It doesn't even make sense. Oh, you weren't. I just wanted to see you squirm a bit. You're so annoying, Sonny. But now I've shot all your blocks down. This is gonna be easy peasy. And bro, I won't even cap. You did that flawlessly. Yeah, because I'm a goat. I am a goat! And I'll save this block for later. Okay, if you're such a goat, can you figure out what to do next? Probably shoot these vanishing blocks. Yeah, shoot them. See if it works. Nothing. Dang it! Guys, I am totally not hiding the button from him with my face. Totally not doing that. Anyways, there's gotta be something down here to get those vanishing blocks to disappear. I've just gotta search around thoroughly. Yep, there sure must be. You you are right about that one. Come on, Melon. Time's ticking. Hurry up. Sonny, can you please move? You're standing suspiciously in the same place. All right, I'll twist a little bit. Is that good? Is that I see? It looks like the pixel of a wooden button. No, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Get out of the way. Fine, fine. You're going to miss anyway. I knew there was a button there. Let's go. Dang it. Give me this and this. Uh, now, I've got a button, a sticky piston, and a slime block. <laughs> You've already messed up. It's okay, I can break this. And bang, bada bingo, kaboygan. Let's go, Sonny! I didn't do anything. You so did that. Did what, bro? You're just not good at this. That's it, I'm using my extra block. Oh, come on, one more time, one more time. Bro, this is sad. There we go, I've crossed your wall. And now, I shall claim victory. Yeah? How's victory taste? There's still more, this is so annoying. You're only just getting started, Melon. So you better speed up. All right, I just gotta shoot this target. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. I think I get this. Yeah, you just gotta do it slowly. Let it cook. Oh, uh, wait, um, stop. Stop it. You're cheating. I'm trying to let it cook. You're cheating. Yeah, it would have probably been a lot better for you if you were just standing under it the whole time. Nope, now I can grab the blocks, Sonny. Not if I were to cook them. Sand doesn't get cooked. Everyone knows that. Okay. Okay, let's see. No, you actually burned one, but I still have enough blocks to get up. Oh my goodness, you actually burnt multiple of them. Sonny, you cheater! <laughs> I thought you said the sand can't get cooked. You're such a cheese lord. Just let me play the game. Bro, are you gonna land on any of my hay bales? I'm trying to help you. Sonny, you don't think I know your tricks? One of these is real, and the rest are ghost blocks, I bet. No, that would be cringe. Meaning this one is the real. Bro, there's totally no ghost blocks here. And easy. You think I'm gonna fall for such a simple trap? Whatever, bruh. I am no idiot. <laughs> you sure about that one? I'm sure. I just don't really understand what's going on here. Nor shall you ever uncover the mysteries. What does it even do? That one actually worked! Oh yeah? I'll tell you what else works. The sentry turret! Oh wait, you're out of vision. No! What? No! Ghost blocks! <laughs> you fell for it! All I had to do was create the perfect distraction. Alright, Sonny. I'm not falling for that twice. The ghost blocks are near. Can you smell them? No, not the stupid sentry! <laughs> Good luck over here, bro. Oh, how do I even cross the ghost blocks? Maybe you have to jump. I've just got to make the jump. Go, go, go. No, not the stupid centuries. But I made it. I've made it. Let me in. No way. I can't believe you got past my outer security ring. Now I'm in the inner security ring. Yeah, but good luck completing this parkour, dude. I know this is your weakness. We shall see about that, Sonny. Check me out. I'm speedrunning. I'm speedrunning. Yeah, but now what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna keep on winning. Ladder parkour doesn't affect me anymore. No, no, Sonny, you can't put a sentry in here. You're just cheating. You're just cheating. You you don't make the rules. I do. Whoa, dude, I just made a new rule. I can use creative mode. No, no, stop, stop. Then no sentries, Sonny. Deal. And yes, yes. 
Hi, Cher. Me you didn't say anything about lava. Sonny, I hope you know I'm getting you back for this in threefold. No, you really shouldn't do that, Melon, because you're not out of here yet. What if I keep pranking you, huh? Just stop pranking me, Sonny. You're literally avoiding the pr No! You pranked me again! I didn't do a thing, and I have video evidence. Nope, nope, nope. I'm coming back up. I'm coming back up. Time is ticking, bro. You keep slipping. I did that one on purpose because I'm a man of honor. Yeah, you sure about that? Aren't you a melon of honor? I'm a melon of many things, Sonny. And parkour is not one of them. Just gotta conquer the ladders. Oh, these are my least favorite ones. No! Wait, I'm still on. I'm still on. I'm still on. Melon, chill. I'm gonna help you. Look up. No, I don't want you... No, stop it! Stop it, Sonny. That's not funny. That's not funny. No, I'm helping. Oh, wait. That actually helped. Thank you. See? I told you I was helping. I just felt bad for you. Now, I should complete this park. Thanks for the help, Sonny. Look what you've done. Hold on. Hold on. I'll put it out. There we go. Move this water, please. Yeah, yeah. I'll get rid of it as well. Happy? And make a jump! That was sick. Sonny, I gotta be honest. Your parkour is pretty cool. I know it is is, brother. Almost as cool as school. And I'm heading to your next layer of security in one more try. Yeah! Oh, Sonny, it looks like I'm in a maze. And there's no way you can escape it. Watch me, Sonny. First try. Right, then a, then a right, then a right again, and then a left. Dang it, I reached a dead end! And it would be a real shame, Melon, if this happened. What happened? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. As long as it's nothing, I'm good with that. Oh, Melon, I think I found the way you need to go. It's over by me. Well, that's such cap. I know you're just trying to lead me astray right now. What What do you have in your hand? Nothing. A grass block. All right, that's... Ah! Wait a second. I can use this to destroy your maze and get out of here. No, that's literally cheating. Uh, never mind, Sonny. That leads into the void somehow. <laughs> yeah, we don't question these things, Melon. We don't question these things. I need to get out of here, but I'm so lost. Please show me the exit somewhere. Oh, yeah. I don't even know where it is. This place is really confusing. Come on. It's got to be over here, right? Over here. I'm going somewhere. Dang it. I reached another dead end. No, it's not this way. Sonny, you've made the most confusing maze ever. I'm amazed. But wait, I found the way out! Actually, I don't know if it's the way out, but it's got golden armor. Bro, there's no way you solved my maze already. Dang it! And this looks like an elevator. What if I go up? Ah! Ah! What is this? Good luck with this, Melon. Dude, there's there's nowhere safe for me to go. This is impossible. How am I supposed to survive? If you have a big intellect, you could use the sentry turrets to your advantage. I need to have the big intellect here. Hit the zombies. Hit the zombies. It's actually working for you. There's got to be a way out of here. There's got to be somewhere I can go. Oh, I can go over on this side. No, no, you cannot do that. Oh, two hearts. Two hearts. How are you alive? And I'm killing the zombies. Two hearts again. Two hearts again. Oh, no. But I did it. And I see how this works, Sonny. There's levers and a pressure plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not in there yet. There's still a sentry turret for you to dismantle. I've just got to go quick. Ow, 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 ow. Go away. You, you know I gave you a pickaxe for a reason. You could just destroy the sentry. No, Sonny. I'm a man of honor. I wouldn't do such a thing. Go, 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 go. Oh, I made it in. No way you pulled that off. Yep. And now I... Oh, my God. I'm at one heart. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Sonny, you cheats! Hey, Melon, hey, Melon, hey, Melon, hey, Melon, look behind you. Stop it, Sonny! <laughs> Fine, I'll get rid of him. You can't be cheating like this. I stopped, I stopped. Hurry up, bro, the clock is ticking. What are you doing? I don't trust you. Now? Sonny, there's a command block here. Yeah, that's the ending. Just put the pressure plate on it and you win. And... Dubberton! Congratulations, Melon! You're now forever stranded inside of my head! That's the ultimate security! Turning it into a prison. Yes, Sonny, but I know how to escape. How? Just like this. No way! Goats, I can't believe he discovered the only way out. The afterlife. Pressing respawn. Curse him! Uh, anyways, Melon, it's time for you to show off your build. Oh, I told you to leave. What are you still doing here? Uh, oh, hi, Sonny. Yeah, Melon, what's going on here? Why are you talking to Bob the Builder? Nah, I don't know. Bob, who's Bob? What's going on? I don't see a Bob. 
Bob. I literally, I'm, you know what? Yeah, there's no Bob. You're right. There, there's no Bob. Anyways, welcome to the base that I built myself, Sonny. Good luck figuring out my security. I think the first step is to place a block there and then jump. Was I right? Can't believe you figured it out. You needed blocks to get through. But now I'm clearing your inventory. No blocks for Sonny. Oh, well, at least I used my water bucket quickly. Now, can you figure out how to get through? You should have taken your time and looked at every single area. Every single area? Bro, there's the grand entrance. I need to figure out a way to access your front door that goes through your mouth. Ugh, it's gonna be smelly in there like your breath. But all I see here is a redstone link and a lever. But it doesn't do anything. Yes, Sonny. All right, I gotta give you a pickaxe. I ain't gonna cap. Here you go. It's the only way it's possible. Now, good luck figuring this out. So I probably missed a mystery over here somewhere. Ow. Let's see. There's totally something on the outskirts of your base. I can feel it. Oh, wait. There's actually nothing back here. Wait a second. Maybe up in the air? No, I don't see anything. Ah, uh, Sonny, you really are stupid. Coach, the way he needs to figure this out is he needs to look at the back of the redstone links. And this way, he can link them up properly, activating the redstone and opening the iron door. Wait a second. There's receiver nodes on the back of each of these iron doors. But it looks like there's nothing in them. I am confused. Wait a second. Maybe it's just because I'm too far away. I bet you I have to be right up against them. I gotta get in close. Come on. Come on. And come on. See through the door. Look through the glass. Red block! Oh, Melon. Nice try. Oh, yeah? Did you figure it out, Sonny? Ow! I did. I need to dismantle your wall. That's the first clue. You only need one. You only need one. It doesn't take it from your inventory. Well, I'm taking some yellow just in case. And I'm dead. And now I can access the next zone. I just place it in frequency one and flick the switch. It actually worked! All right, Sonny, you're kind of smart for going in F5. I didn't even think about that. And then I put it in frequency two. Let's go. Oh, Melon, you need two red blocks for this one. You think you can stop me with this? Dang it, it wasn't enough, boys. But it's time to troll him because he trolled me. Wait a second. This one's not red blocks. It looks like dirt. All right. Melon, this is not secure at all. Ow! What is hitting me? No way! Okay, I can do this. You better be real fast, Sonny. No, no. I can cover it. I can cover it. I'm chilling. What is this? What is this? Again. Ow! Ow! This time it goes on the bottom. No! I misclicked! Oh, it's over for you, Sonny. Phew! I'm through. What the heck is hitting me now? Oh, sorry. I spawned in another one by accident. And I spawned in a bunch more by accident. Mel melon, 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 melon. Oh, they can't see me down here. Hold on. Let me put them a little lower. No, you really don't have to do that. Besides, there's no lever here. Cool. Really cool. That's what you get for trolling me all those times. Oh, yeah? Well, while you're busy placing sentry turrets, I'm busy winning. No! No, you're not allowed to do that! I'm clearing your inventory! No! <laughs> I don't care if you clear my inventory. I'm on to the next level of your security. Dang it! Yo, what is this place? It actually looks amazing. Yep, and you'll never get through it, Shuddy. I, myself, with no help required, built the most ultimate parkour. Why do you keep saying that, bro? Let me guess. Bob the Builder helped you make this. No, he didn't help me. Technically, he didn't help me. Because I didn't do anything, so technically, he did not help me. Let me guess, Melon, in the final fine print. He didn't help you because you paid him off. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, just grab the ladder, make the next jump, and I'm not gonna cap, bro. This place is looking juicy. It is looking juicy. It's completely melon-themed. Also, good luck getting through the lava, man. This part's pretty tough. Bro, you shouldn't have. You brought my biggest fan? Not funny, Sonny. Whatever. Let me just dodge your lovers. I'm almost there, bro. This thing is blasting me way above them. Ow! It creates hot air, though. Oh, no. I might die. Melon, why? Oh, sorry. That was an accident. Meant to just push you out of the lava a little bit. Ugh, I gotta start the whole thing over again. Ugh, I finally made it back, bro. Don't troll me again. Uh, remember all the times you trolled me, Sonny? I do, but we had an agreement that you wouldn't do it back to me. Hey, this is actually so easy. You just go beneath the lava. Yeah, bro. All I had to do was hold shift. Dang it. What was Bob thinking? I mean, uh, what was I thinking? Wait, bro. Bob did build everything for you. No. No, uh, he didn't build everything. I technically grew the melon myself, so goats, that counts. Melon, name one thing he didn't build here. The melon. Oh, good point. Yo, this part looks crazy. Ah, I almost slipped. Vine parkour. I've never
never even had to do this before. Oh, that's unfortunate, Sonny. Melon, please never build with these again. Uh, mm, I kind of like it. It's difficult for you, Sonny. Let me rephrase that. Melon, please never hire Bob to build with vines again. Bro, how do you know Bob built that? Well, it wasn't you, bro. You're not that creative. He's going up. You already finished my parkour. Dang right I did. I'm out of here. Whoa. You built a maze in your head also? Of course I did, Sonny. I guess we kind of were on the same page with our builds. Yeah, and now I'm totally lost and don't know where I'm going. And I totally am not spawning in zombie villagers. Melon, why? Why would you do that? Uh, because you decided to spawn in creepers. No, I didn't spawn them in. They, uh, they were natural. Those, those were all natural GMO-free creepers. Organic. And these are all natural GMO, uh, villagers, zombies that I spawned. And I found the secret chest! And you've got armor in here, too! Let's go, Melon! See ya, nerd! Dang it! Uh, Melon? Why are there muted zombies? Good luck! Not cool, bro. Not cool. How am I supposed to kill these guys? I only have iron armor. There's two of them. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me make this a little more fair, actually. And if you can get that ammo in time... And that minigun, uh... There's no ammo! You lied! Dude, the ammo's right there. You just gotta get to it. Oh, no. Die. Die. Plus, these guys don't even die when I kill them. I need a flint and steel! Oh, wait. One of them's dead. Let me reload this thing. Oh, Melon. That was actually pretty easy. Thanks for the help. You're welcome, Sonny. It's only because you put that water down for me that one time. And now, I have a swipey key card to open the reinforced secure door and a pressure plate for the command block! I'm out of here! Oh, no. I should have seen this coming. Yep, Sonny, you have now imprisoned yourself in the melon facility forever. And you don't have a bow and arrow to kill yourself, so you can never escape! Dang it! Goats, please press the like and subscribe button to help me escape from this juicy watermelon. This is a Garden of Ban Ban build battle, but I use cheats to win every time. I'm getting so tired of your cheating, bro. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do about it? If 1,000 of you viewers like the video right now, I'll blow Sonny's build up. Three, two, one. No! And by the way, we're super close to 200,000 subscribers. So if you're new, please support us by subscribing. Okay, guys, legend has it that this forest behind me has been Ban-Ban's mansion inside of it. I've just got to get through this treacherous maze. Bro, it's so scary. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, yeah, I have an axe. I'm just going to drill straight through it. <laughs> oh, Ban-Ban, I'm coming to visit your house, bro. You better have cleaned up, dude. If it's nasty, I'm going to report you to Jumbo Josh, and he's not going to be very happy. And you might be wondering, why the heck am I trying to go to Ban-Ban's mansion? And the reason is simple. Melon challenged me to a build battle, but I needed to find a new way to cheat. Uh, guys, my axe broke. Eh, good thing I brought extras. <laughs> Let's go! So, as I was saying, Melon challenged me to a build battle, and I needed a new way to cheat. So I thought I'd check out this haunted Ban Ban house and see what I could find. Yo! This place is so weird! It looks pretty epic, but it also gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yo! He's got a graveyard! Here lies a super Super creepy monster. Here lies Daniel. That's not lava, that's rock soup. Yo, there's crazy memes in here too. Here lies Pinocchio, lying as usual. Yeah, he's a big liar. We don't like Pinocchio. Wait, he's got skeleton horses. Yo, 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 sorry, take Pinocchio's sign. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I don't want to end up in the graveyard, guys. I gotta be very careful. If I take one wrong step inside of this house, Bad Man might put me in the ground. If I take one wrong step in his mansion, he might find me and kill me. Oh, this is spooky. Look at all the skulls. He's got monsters and dragon heads. What else has this dude got in here? I need to find something useful. Something that can help me cheat and beat Melon in this build battle. Yo, what is this? Ban Ban's got an obby in his house. Let's go. Okay, a couple more jumps. Don't want to slip and fall. Whoa. And big jump. Let's go. Momentum. And... Just gotta make this head bump and jump. Ooh. Yo, he's got a password protected chest up here. It's gotta have something goaded inside. This better help me cheat. 69. What? Uh, Ban Ban's password is maybe like, uh, 4321. No, that's not it. Uh, 069. No. Wait a second. I have an idea. 
You know when you look at your phone and all the numbers have letters on them? If I were to type Ban Ban as a number, it would be 226226. Yo, it worked! His password was literally Ban Ban! Advanced pocket computer. Wait a second. What does this do? Hello. Hello, world. Can you help me cheat? All I've got to do is type paint, ban ban, and now I can create my own ban ban drawing. This is gonna be perfect. Hey, Melon, answer your Discord, bro. Yo, what's up, Sonny? Where are you, dude? I'm ready for this build battle. Bro, I'm just chilling in my house right now. Send me the coordinates for the build battle. Let's get this going already. I'm gonna destroy you. Bro, teleport to 10,000, 100, 6,969, Bro, there's no way I'm gonna remember that. Tell me the real coordinates. All right, teleport to zero. 100 zero. No way! It's in the center of the whole world? Ah! Melon! Melon! <laughs> <laughs> Melon, it's time for the first round in this build battle. What should we be doing? We're gonna build Ban Ban, Sonny. But first, we gotta decide which side we're on. Uh, dude, you don't want this. Get... Get off! No! That's right! You didn't want this heat, bruh! I'm too cute! Oh, you want this, huh? You want some more? You want some more? No, no, which side did I fall? Which side did I fall on? All right, this is my side. See ya. Eat my ex. Okay, Melon. First challenge is who can build the better Ban Ban. And it starts right now. You got two minutes. Wait, what? Two minutes, Sonny? I need at least ten. All right, fine. Ten minutes. No, get out of my side. Stop peeking. I'm not, I'm not. I'm going to my end. And now it's time for my master plan to all come together. All I gotta do is open this up and type paint Ban Ban once again. And it's time to get drawing. Let's see. Ban Ban looks kinda like this. And then he's got some arms that are like this. And he's got legs. He's got another leg. He's got another arm. Yeah, that looks like Ban Ban, right? That's, that's the correct setup, I think. Something like this. Yeah, Ban Ban looking good. Ban Ban looking good. And then we need to just go a little bit more. Yep, fill it all in. And he needs his party hats. Yes. Perfect, Mr. Ban Ban. Absolutely perfect. Oh, he needs some eyeballs too. Yeah, he might need a face. And then a little smile. Yo, that's a big smile. Uh... <laughs> I hope this works. And save. Yo, did you guys hear that? I think the build worked. <laughs> oh my god. Gosh, he's humongous. Look at my Ban Ban. I don't even know if this is the best build ever, but you know what? For having to do absolutely nothing and just use my computer program to draw, this worked out pretty good. And with all the extra time I've got left, I could go troll Melon. Let's see here. We do have some dynamite. I wonder how annoyed he'll be if I were to just take one or two of these. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy to start. So let's just take an ender dynamite. All right, guys, to start off, I got to construct some legs. This might be a little difficult. I feel like Ban Ban would have some nice circular dogs. You feel me? He's got them red toes. Here we go. That looks pretty good. Build another one over here. And now we build up. This might take a second. After a little bit of time, I've created Ban Ban's legs. It looks pretty good. Now I gotta start constructing his body. Build his hips out a little bit. He'd probably be about this thick, I think. Do the same on the other side. <laughs> this looks so goofy, but trust me, I have a vision. Okay, guys, his body's complete, and I even added some horns on top. Check that out. Look at the pink and blue wool. It looks so beautiful. And here's his mouth. Gonna add his tongue now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Good. Gotta get some eyeballs in here. Eyeball one. Just gotta duplicate it over here. And finish off his pupils. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> My band band's looking good. Just gotta add arms. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a peek over the wall at Melon's build. Let's see what he's... Yo! His stuff actually looks pretty good. I wonder how he'll build with a bunch of ender dynamite raining. Come on, bop him. What is happening? I didn't hit him yet. I didn't hit him yet. I don't want to be seen. I gotta take cover. What the heck? Bro, there's ender dynamite everywhere. At least it doesn't hurt my build, but I might get sent flying. Come on. 
Launch that melon! Bro, where is this coming from? Oh, take cover. Yo, whoever's throwing this sucks. It's probably Sonny. He's up to some shenanigans. Wait a second, guys. What is this build made of? It looks like there's a lot of wool on that face. <laughs> Sonny, what are you doing? Wait, 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 melon, melon. What's wrong, bro? It's cool, it's cool. Yeah? You're peeking. No, I'm not peeking. Sorry, I didn't mean to peek. I didn't mean to peek. I'm looking away. What are you doing? Stop. No, there's wool. What the heck, Sonny? Oh, sorry, you put wool on it. I was trying to make your band band look really cool and evil by like having like flames and stuff. Go away, you cheater. Okay, okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. Oh my, Sonny. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Sonny! Yo, I'm back. I'm just looking at my build, bro. I'm good, I'm good, I'm chilling. That's it, guys. I'm getting Sonny back for this next round. Guys, I'm gonna prepare my prank for when Melon goes to show off his build. Let's take a look at the TNT here. What would Ban Ban like? I'm pretty sure he'd be a big fan of the Meteor TNT and the Meteor Shower TNT. That's perfect. So when we visit Melon's build, we'll give him a couple of these. But not from me. These are from Ban Ban. And just like that, my build is complete. It's beautiful. Even with Sunny's trolling. Wait, I gotta bang, boom, done. It's good again. Brand new... Brand new. Good as new. Melon, are you ready? Yeah, dude. Do we going through the top or through the bottom? I'm going through the middle. Oh, look at your build. That's awesome. Stay away, you troll. Dude, this is the first time I'm seeing it. It looks really nice. Yeah, right, bro. You literally peeked over the wall. Hey, don't peek. Don't peek at mine, okay? Why do you have TNT in your hand? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm holding bread, dude. What? Are you seeing things? Bro, what the heck, dude? What do you think of my band band? So, I'm taking a look and i think it's gonna be up to the viewers to comment down below whose band band they like better melons or sunnies <laughs> can i look take a look at yours sunny not yet bro i just want to see if there's any secrets on yours is there anything cool here no dude it's just a painting man i didn't have that much time sunny what the heck I don't know, bro. This looks pretty cool. You scumbag. Dude, that wasn't my fault. Ban Ban asked me to deliver that to you. You just destroyed my entire build. That's it. Dude, you still have legs. I'll fix that. You think you can get away with that, huh, Sonny? Huh? No, look. Now I destroyed all of your build. There's no What the? That's it. Your build's done. Yo, your build is gigantic. There's no way you built this. I did. I used a little bit of of assistance, but I did do the work myself, technically. Bro, that build is actually insane, dude. It's ginormous. Too bad it's all gonna have to explode. Melon, it doesn't have to explode. What did you do? You exploded my build, so I'm exploding your build. No, whatever you just did, undo it. It's a little bit bigger, this one. Uh, Melon? That's a very large crater and a lot of meteors. Uh, I may have done a little bit too much damage here, Sonny. Dude, Dude, it's kind of cool, though. It looks like something Ban Ban would have done. It's so destructive, and there's a lot of fire. Don't worry. There's a piece of your Ban Ban left up here. I don't want it. Melon, it's time for round two, bro. This time, the challenge is to see who can make the best Nab Nab. Ooh, me likey, Sonny. Me going to win this one. Me feeling good. Yeah, you could feel as good as you want. I'm starting my build right away. Same. Now, for this second round, all I got to do is type paint nab nab open up the board and it's time to do a little bit of drawing this one's gonna be a little harder though i need some space to work with we're gonna need to make his head like this i know it's not perfectly round it's hard to do round on this thing okay don't worry about it it should be fine the ai knows what i want like that and then we need his spider legs yes they're so creepy bro and then they gotta curve up curve up we just color it in and i'm gonna make him all all blue then i'm gonna add his eyeballs and his creepy mouth he also needs his arms so his arms are gonna be like uh, uh. this looks like a weird spider dude oh he needs his little hat too that's his hat i ran out of space it's fine and then eyeball number one number two and number three and now i need his crazy mouth i want to make his mouth like this Ooh, and then some teeth yes 
He needs vicious teeth. He's evil! Yo, that actually looks pretty good! Now I just finished the eyeballs, and this build is perfect! Must save build. Pressing save. It's been saved. The nab nab build. Yo, I just heard that sound effect again. I think it worked! Let's take a look. Yo! He's so perfect! He's gigantic! This might be the biggest build I've ever made. Uh, <laughs> with just a little bit of AI assistance here. Thank you, computer. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, just like last time, I'm gonna start with the feetsies. Make them into another circle. Yeah, this looks good. I think we connect them, though. We go a little bit abstract this time. This is feeling right. Build them up. This may take a second. <clears throat> uh, bear with me. Look, can you even tell the difference? My drawing? The AI's build. Looks about the same to me. Oh, nab, nab. You are so handsome. Now, the real question is, what should I do to troll Melon? And I think this looks good. Like, I could see a good base being built from here. Now it's time to build this boy's body. This boy's built like a brick. So he's gonna have a nice square body, like so. Maybe a bit more out there. Oh, that should be good. And then we build up. There we go. He's got a boxy build now. And I think... Here's where I'm gonna add the teeth or the rib cage. I don't really know what you'd call it. Yeah, this is looking real nice. Something like this. Do the same to the other side. There we go. The teeth look pretty good. Now it's time to build the head. This is gonna be a little tricky. Dude, so I kind of just made a glob as his head. I've already added some eyeballs. Just gotta add some detailing here. Finish up this last eyeball. Mission black wool. Now, just to add some arms. Guys, I'm going over the wall. Let's see Melon's build. Dude, why is Melon actually so good at building? Every time we do these contests, sure, his aren't as big and gigantic as mine, but they're always so good. They're small and goofy looking looking, but they're really pretty good. Oh, wait, uh, guys, I'm very dumb. For this prank, I need to be in spectator or he'll see me. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside of his goofy looking nab nab as he's building. And you know how this character is kind of a spider, right? I'm gonna go in here and I got this command that'll spawn 100 spiders. Yo, what the heck is going on? Why are there so many spiders in my nab nab? That's it. Sonny's up to something weird again. I gotta clear these boys out. Die! While Melon's clearing them out, I'm gonna put more on top of his nab nab. Oop. There's so many spiders. Bruh, just die. If he looks outside of that mouth, he's gonna see spiders raining everywhere. Bruh. That's it. I need a very sharp tool. Yes. The sharpness stick. Be gone. Yes. I have rid- What the heck? What is going on? Bro, there's so many spiders up here. And there's spider jockeys. Bro, die. Melon, are you okay? I hear you freaking out. That's it. That's it. Difficulty, peaceful. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Stop trolling me, Sonny. I know you're doing something- What the heck? What's wrong, Melon? Why are you screaming? What's happening? Bro, there's too many. I gotta get rid of them. What are you doing, Sonny? You're trolling. What are you talking about? I'm on my side of the map. Bro, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm taking a peep over there. I'm taking a peep. Look, I'm right here. You don't see the bread? Oh, my. Sonny, how the heck did you build that? Carefully and with great attention to detail. Bro, I'm not even done. Well, that's too bad. You got four seconds left. Three, two, one. Wait, Sonny, please. Please! Zero! Dang it! Oh, it was you! No, it was the bread, dude. The bread made me do it. Dude, nice job on your nab nab. That is totally legit. You built that all by yourself, huh? I actually did, bro. No cap. I made that all by myself. I won't use the word build, but I certainly made it myself. What the heck does that even mean? That's for me to know and you to find out. Bro, you're such a dirty cheat. Melon, it's time for the third round of this build challenge. We're gonna be doing Opilaber. 
bird. Wait, what the heck did you have in your hand there? I have bread, bro. It's just bread. You need some? You whipped some funky item out for a second. What was that, Sonny? Oh, dude, you probably saw my <gasps> potato. Ah, you're so toxic, Sonny. Whatever. This round starts now. I'm smoking you. Wait, Melon, are you sure you don't want to see my baked potato? How'd I even get back up here? What's going on? No! Creative! Ooh, I clutched up, Sonny. I clutched. Wow, I'm so proud of you for that. I'll give you my baked tater and my regular potato. Wow, thank you so much, honey. Okay, guys, it's time for me to make my final build drawing. Let's program it into our computer. Okay, guys, Sonny's up to no good. So this round, I'm gonna do a little bit of espionage. I'm gonna spy on Sonny. Gonna break a few pieces of bedrock. Hopefully he doesn't notice. One-way glass. Bada bing, bada boom. And now he'll never know. I can spy on him. Hold on, let's make this a little bit bigger. Paint a pillow bird. That's perfect. What is Sonny holding, bro? He's holding such a weird item. What is that? And then I need to just draw her she's gonna have like a pink head she's got an orange beak yeah she's pretty goaded oh she's gonna have a crazy red eye she's kind of evil a bit like that and back to the pink she's gonna have a big round body yeah oh pillow bird's looking good she's gonna have a purple wing and then i just need to fill this all in Oh, yes. I'm almost done painting Opilla Bird in. Oh, this is gonna be so fun to troll Melon after. Just a little more. Oh, fill this in. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. And then I need to put little feetsies. Okay, guys, I'm gonna build a quick Opilla Bird. Here we go. Bing, boom. Sonny's up to no good right now. Don't like what he's doing. So, gonna make this really quick and continue to spy on him. Oh, wait. She needs her tail feathers too so we're just gonna do like this perfect and a little thing on top of her head <laughs> oh pillow bird is ready and my pillow bird is done i'm gonna do a little bit more spying on sunny gonna splash myself with invisibility here we go and earlier in the round guys i put some ghost blocks right here to sneak across what the heck is Sonny holding? What is that? What the heck? And now all I've got to do is build. I think it worked. Let's see. Yo, she's so precious. Wait, is Sonny drawing his build in? This thing just spawned after he got off that device. Bro is drawing anything right now. But that didn't look like a paint canvas. It looked like a computer. Wait, is Sonny coding this? This stuff into the game melon there's only one minute left i hope your build's almost done wait chill it's almost done chill mine's looking pretty good bro let me just say i programmed my build to perfection yeah are you sure about that yeah oh pillow bird looking good all right sonny my build is complete oh, wait guys i gotta hide this one way glass oh quick flip it all so it can't be seen and perfect Okay, guys, what Sonny doesn't know is there's actually a say goodbye TNT in there. So this lever that's disguised as her beak, when pulled down, will activate the say goodbye TNT, destroying Sonny. It's gonna be hilarious. Melon, I'm coming to your side. You're taking way too long. Chill, I got some final details to do, Sonny. Relax. Nope, I'm breaking through the wall. Where's your build? That's your build. Isn't she beautiful? Look, she's even got the hair hair on the top she's gorgeous yo guys comment down below if you like melon's opilla bird that is so stupid look i even added a beak bro check it out oh yeah we pressed his eyeball button oh he got a beak oh no he's got a beak dang it bro i just missed putting you in survival bro nice try i'm in creative mode are you kidding me i forgot about that that's it game mode survival Big mm. melon, stop it! No! Hey, see you, Sonny. <laughs> Die! Wait, this is what you were using to draw in your characters. Are you kidding me? Melon, I wasn't just drawing them in, I was programming them into Minecraft. Bro, that's it. Final round. You don't get the computer. I'm deleting it. Guys, 
I'm not deleting it. I'm gonna use it this round to get my revenge. Fine, bro. I'll play one without it. Melon, what's the theme of this last build challenge? We're building Jumbo Josh. Let's do it! Oh, why did you slow me? Because you deserve it. Whatever, bro. It'll help me build with greater precision. Okay, how do I use this thing? Paint? Wait, it's working. Ban, ban? Are you kidding me? Wait a second. Then, can I do Jumbo Josh? Paint Jumbo Josh? Enter! Yo, it pulled up a painting pad. Now I just gotta draw Jumbo Josh. Looks something like this. Got a big old head on him. Big old fists. Draw his legs. And then I just gotta fill it in. Oh yeah, plus draw his eyes. Bing, boom, and done. Yo, what? Wait, what is up with him? What is this block? Yo, it's chemical TNT. Wait, because I was super mad when I was drawing, it made him out of TNT. This is ridiculous. This explosion will be monstrous. Oh, this is insane, bro. The power programming possesses. Okay, it's my turn to build the Jumbo Josh, but I gotta do it from scratch. But have no fear. I'm an absolutely goat mode 10 out of 10, super smart genius builder. I don't need AI to help me out. I don't have to code my way to victory. Look at his Jumbo Josh. And he's gonna have a big slimy hand. Yeah, this is looking good. And a little more this way. And how did I do it over there? Yeah, I go like three out. Yeah, something like this. And then slimify it. Oh, yes. And then Jumbo Josh is gonna have like a little small boy neck. And then thick, like super thick thick head like all the way out here yeah this looks good this is gonna look good he's built like a football you know what i mean he probably plays in the nfl yes this is good fill him in uh it's a little bit lopsided let me just remove a couple blocks that's looking better and then he needs a face we go like this like that and he's got a big smile Look at how happy this Jumbo Josh is. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> you guys better vote that Sonny's Jumbo Josh is the best. Okay, Melon, my build's ready. Yo, chill! Sonny, I was watching you, and that was possibly the worst building I have ever experienced or witnessed. Dude, you don't like Jumbo Josh? No, nah, bro, it's 2D, it's trash. This is what you build when you can't cheat? No, I was just building under stress, dude. You put me under so much pressure that I, I just couldn't focus that well. Normally, I'm as good as Opilla Bird, though. You know what I think of this? Dude, dude, dude. You just blasted Jumbo Josh's mouth and his whole entire body. Are you happy now, Melon? Do you feel better? Wait, hold on. I don't feel good yet. It'll be faster to just do this. Now I feel good, Sonny. That's what I think of your build. That was garbage. Fine, bro. Let's see yours. Uh, Melon? I thought we agreed. No programming the builds this round. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like we agreed to every other build battle. No cheating. Huh, Sonny? What happened to that? I didn't cheat. Ban Ban gave me a computer and I just used it to beat you. Wait a second, Melon. Why is Jumbo Josh made out of TNT? You may have survived my last trap, Sonny, but you won't survive this one. Melon, what are you doing? See ya, Sonny. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh my gosh, everything is lagging. My computer is going to die. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. That's an insane amount of TNT. I can't hear anything. The game went silent. What have you done? I'm alive. I'm actually alive. If the server doesn't crash, I will be amazed. What was that sound? That was so scary. I think my game crashed. Melon, the server crashed, and now I'm in single player. I guess that means I survived. No, Sonny, that doesn't count. We all know you are gonna die. Comment your favorite build from today. And click the next video on screen. Do it quickly before a game crashes.